Hello everyone, welcome to Vector IJK. In today's video, I have brought a question derived from one of my favorite cartoons of childhood, Tom and Jerry. Let's look at it. Tom moves uniformly with velocity v so that the vector v is continually aimed at Jerry, who in turn is running rectilinearly and uniformly with velocity u, which is less than v. So Tom is trying to catch Jerry. At the initial moment, v is perpendicular to u and the two are separated by a distance l. Okay, they are two are separated by a distance l. How soon will Tom catch Jerry? So, we are team Tom. We have to make Tom catch Jerry. Alright, I have always been a fan of Tom. Okay, I have always been in team of Tom. So, let's see. Here, v is greater than u. So, surely Tom will catch Jerry at some instant. We have to find in how much time he will catch it. So let's get started. Here to better understand how the things work and what are the motions that are followed by Tom and Jerry individually, I have shown an animation. Let's have a look at it. So now based on the animation, we know that Tom will be moving in a curvilinear path. Tom will be moving in a curvilinear path and Jerry will be moving in a straight path. Say the path followed by Jerry is this. Alright, I will just draw a straighter path like this. This is the path followed by Jerry. He is moving with speed u. Also, my Tom is initially moving with speed v towards Jerry in a perpendicular manner. And the path followed say by Tom is this. Now let's say after some time Tom is here and Tom will be moving in this direction with a speed v. Also at this, at this instant since we know that Tom is always facing Jerry, that Jerry will be in this direction only somewhere here moving with a speed u okay and at this instant the angle made the angle made by the velocity vector of tom with respect to jerry is theta now let us assume that total time required to catch jerry is t total time is equal to t. So in t time Tom will surely catch Jerry. This distance is given as L, the perpendicular distance between the two velocity vectors. Alright. So in t time the relative distance between the two will reduce from L to 0. So can I say that distance cover, relative distance covered, I am talking relatively, okay, in relative terms. In relative terms, in relative terms, initial distance is L and final distance is 0. So can I say the relative distance covered is L and this distance will nothing is nothing but integral relative velocity into dt. Don't you think so? Distance is equal to velocity into time. But since the relative velocity is constantly changing, because the angle is constantly changing, I have to use the integral sign. So distance is equal to relative velocity into time. Now what is the relative velocity at any instant? Say at this instant it is making an angle theta. So this is my v. So what is the relative velocity at this instant between the two? It is basically the net velocity difference in the direction joining the two points. So v is already in the direction joining the two points. So you have to take a component of u you have to take a component of u in this direction so that my relative velocity is equal to v minus u cos theta. I hope you understand this. Now I can say that my L is equal to integral v minus u cos theta dt. 
yes also we have to integrate this to find the time but we don't even know the time we have just we have to calculate the time required okay but we don't know how to calculate integrate this because the theta is constantly changing with respect to time right so one way to do it is if you have a relation of theta with respect to time but it seems very highly unlikely to find it here easily so i'll show you an easier way to solve this question you don't have to even integrate in the question and you can find the answer completely without any integration let's have a look at it let's say let's say that in t time tom is catching jerry so say this is where he catches it he catches him this is where he catches okay so can i say the distance traveled by jerry in this time is u into t u into t that is the distance traveled by jerry in this time t also this is the horizontal same distance travel by tom also yes or no because jerry is moving completely horizontal i have to conclude that if tom catches jerry then the horizontal distance traveled by tom also in t time should be same but what is the horizontal distance traveled by tom in t time for that we have to just worry about the horizontal component of the velocity of tom horizontal component of velocity of tom is just v cos theta yes or no so can i say the horizontal distance traveled by tom is integral v cos theta into dt right ut is equal to integral v cos theta into dt these are the horizontal distances traveled in t time but my v is constant so can i write this ut by v is equal to integral cos theta dt now though we do not need to you know calculate the integral of cos theta dt but we directly have the value of integral cos theta dt so we can directly substitute this here and get to the answer let's see how my integral cos theta dt can be substituted here and can be written like this my l is equal to integral v dt minus u integral cos theta dt because my u is constant so i can write this l is equal to integral v dt is just v into t because my v is constant and total time is t minus u into integral cos theta dt what is integral cos theta dt ut by v so this becomes u square t by v so from here what can we conclude that my time required is equal to vl by v square minus u square and this is the final answer the time required is vl by v square minus u square i hope you like this video please give a thumbs up if you did also comment your views in the comment section and share this video with your friends thank you